it's time to play some Virtual RC Pro. Now, for those of you that haven't been uh, plugged into the internet, uh, Virtual RC Pro is a RC driving game or remote control car driving game. Um, you can access it for free at virtualrcworld.com. Um, although it is a sort of, it's kind of like iRacing ish, but with remote control cars. But you can join for free and you can access some limited content for free. And that's what I'm doing now and trying out because I heard about this game a couple of years back. It first came out in 2011 uh, and I kind of just ignored it. And then recently I was browsing around the internet and uh, happened to land on their website and it turns out they've got a free to play mode now which you have to pay for so i thought well let's give it a go and here we are now i've had about 10 15 minutes of fiddling around um it looks quite nice how it's presented and if you're if you're into remote control cars um then this will really excite you uh, I, i'm i don't have a specific thing for remote control cars um any more than anything else i, I think they're cool uh, and i like all this stuff with them but I've never really got into it. It was uh, it was far too expensive when I was younger to get into it. Um, but this game tries to incorporate a lot of the aspects. I say game, it's more of a simulator. It tries to incorporate the aspects of the real world sport of RC racing, presumably on the American side. Uh, RC racing is not that big in the UK, but you can you can buy and unlock additional chassis, um, and there's some default ones you get with it that come in the game. Um, but it's all that, what's really cool is you can you can build a car from scratch. Uh, let's do this one, and it's got all the different components in there. Just from a from a layman's perspective, as someone that doesn't know anything about RC cars, it was nice just loading this up and just seeing all the different components and uh, what actually goes into an RC car. It probably sounds stupid to someone that knows about these things stick this all together this is how easy it is to build an RC car this is exactly what it's like in real life you just click on some buttons and it all comes together you, you don't have to sit at a desk for hours on end aligning things screwing stuff in breaking things having to go to the shop to replace them it's completely seamless just like this simulator but look at these car bodies are really nice uh, let's go for the it's kind of like a Porsche shaped car okay so I've now built an RC car. It was that simple. I'm going to save it as Gamer 2. I'm using a Xbox 360 controller to play this. I've remapped it so that the um, the left analog stick is accelerate and brake and the right analog stick is left and right, which to me is as similar as I can get to a RC controller. For those that are really hardcore, you can actually plug in uh, you can get a USB adapter from the website which lets you plug in a real RC controller which will make things feel a lot more authentic let's go for this let's select a track uh, carpet <laughs> let's go for some carpet so there's a bunch of tracks I think it's like five or six tracks you can pick and there seems to be like two or three different car bodies uh, and the ability to drive them around and test it out and see what the physics are like. I think there's a race mode, I've not actually had a look yet, so I'm gonna do that after this, but I'm gonna see what this is actually like to drive. Graphically. Three minutes till the start of the race. This is like- Welcome to this track. Enjoy your racing. Uh, graphic, oops, graphically it's really nice. I mean, it's sort of that sort of practical simulation style graphics, but it, it's, it's nice it, it doesn't look cheap. Physics, they seem pretty decent uh it does still feel gamey it, it doesn't feel like real car physics i'm not an expert in rc cars uh i've driven a couple uh left one twenty point eighty seven seconds a couple of like nitro cars back in the day i think all the cars in this are electric rather than nitro so but the, the general physics of this uh it's kind of like all all uh simulators they they, they seem kind of um Left to 19.2 seconds. They seem kind of smoothed out in the way that everything moves. Uh, remote control helicopter games have this as well. And this feels really, the movements in this seem really similar to uh, how remote Two control minutes. plane and helicopters fly in those kind of games. But it's nice how it, how it handles. It seems really 
it seems fun. Nine, I can three, imagine it's been quite point, addictive. Point five seconds. Depends what the actual race mode is like, uh, and how active it is online. Because uh, it used to cost a fortune to play this, and I'm guessing they've had to make it free to play to get more users. Or it might have just been the case that this was only well, four, really popular with um, complete RC fanatics. I'm really surprised that a more arcade version of this hasn't come out. Like if I if I if I was this company, I would well, license five, this technology to a company seconds. that wants to make a more something more appealing to a wider market. We've got crazy track designs, some some you know micro machine style game, but with decent physics. But who knows? Maybe they're making a fortune out of this. I don't. I don't really One know. Minute. Till the start of the race, Less. six eighteen point okay, thirty four so seconds. My hot lap race is about to start. Now you can tweak all the cars and stuff, all the setup stuff there. For those of you that like that kind of stuff, I don't really. I'd, I rather just, I like getting into the action and having everyone have the same car. But it seems they've seven sixteen point eighty seven seconds. With this, they've tried to uh, literally make it as much of an authentic simulator of real world RC driving as possible. 30 seconds Whee! to the start of the qualifying <laughs> race. I need to put a little bit of a dead zone on my joystick because unfortunately the Xbox controllers are a little bit floppy in the center. 20 seconds to the start of the race. Get ready. Oh, get ready. The robot tells me. Oh, I've got to press space. Space bar, reposition back on the track. Here we go. The start of the qualifying race. Oh, this is a... Your car will be placed in its starting position. So I wonder if, like, if, this, if this is like iRacing where it qualifies you for the track. For the online racing with real people. Oh, we're off. Oh, I'm gonna hit the wall there. Your clock has oh, started. Shit. Uh, that nothing happened. It's all fine. They've got really good crash physics, and it, it does look like uh, when you crash, it does seem to crash in a way that you've, if you watch videos of RC cars on YouTube, they they seem to flip over and move how these move when you crash. Of course, there's no people Left walking around to uh, reposition a car. Seconds. You just press the space bar. Whoa! Oh no, that's that lap gone. I can really think having a. I can imagine having a proper controller would add a lot to this. Left to nineteen point seven. I'm getting really on edge. <laughs> this is taking so much concentration. The hamster in my head is uh, running at full power just to keep this track car on the track. I definitely need a dead zone. I'm wobbling around all over the place. Lap 3, 18.77 I'm going to beat that lap. Come on. Come One on. One minute to go. Oh, come on. You get a cheer every time you beat your best lap time. Because there's a massive crowd watching RC races. Oh, yeah, that was so smooth. Come on. Left oh, I'll go ahead and do it faster. Zero, seven oh, seconds. Oh. After I've done this, I'm going to do an online race if if I can find one. I'll see how it works. Oh. 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 <laughs> it requires so much concentration. Five, I'll get worse. Fourteen seconds. Oh. Oh. Oh god. Oh yes, come on. Left oh! Seconds. Oh, that's got to be illegal. Seconds to go. Okay, let's just go for it. Time. Finish your lap. Left seven, <laughs> the rubbish. Seven, the lap where didn't care. Got the fastest time. You are finished. Well, that was pretty intense. Return your car to the pit lane. Okay, I'm going to return to the pit lane. It's quite therapeutic, actually. Is it? Your result is seven. Oh, here we go. Give me, two you get achievements as well as you do stuff. Seconds. Display results coming up. That's oh, really nice. It is really nicely presented, actually. The interface. It's really clear what's going on. There's there's a lot of options, but it is a really clean, well-made interface. Um, okay. Let's see if I can do an online race. I don't even know what's going to happen. Uh, 
so yeah i'm not sure uh that's this is time trial mode so that's if i click race it'll go back into another time trial uh let's click on this and oh, what's this about oh this is not the website well how do i do an actual race then multiplayer okay right oh here we go nice I don't know why that's red, but let's let's join. Oh, I can't. Why can't I join that session? Let's join this. All right, so far this is really cool. Um, okay. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing. I assume I've just. Hopefully I've picked a car that suits me. Oh, here's an archer car. Oh, I need a password. Well, that's a bit rubbish. Okay, well, I can't join that because I don't have a password. Let's join this one. Oh, there was a big padlock on it, so I should have seen that. It was a bit stupid of me. Could pay more attention when, uh, when joining servers. Weird that it let me go through as far as it did. Nonetheless. Oh, here we go. Oh, what is going on? Oh, this is going to be way out of my league. I wonder if I can chat to people. Uh, let's see. Press T to enter text. Hello. Okay. Well, this answers the question, does the game have nitro cars? Oops, it appears that it does. And it appears that I can't drive them. It's... Oh no. I do Disaster. Spacebar doesn't seem to be working. Oh, there we go, I had the chat window selected. Oh. Right. It seems super fast. One thing I have noticed playing this in my short in my short time playing this game is that the uh, it's really hard to tell the Left depth. One, but Zero, I can imagine six, when the Oculus Rift comes out, or if you have a 3D TV, this would be immense. And I got a feeling that stuff like this, like miniaturized things will feel will feel or look seem really really realistic with a VR headset so it'll be interesting to see if they actually support it officially oh. it's actually quite quite good it's quite a good degree of depth in terms of how the cars are sliding and moving around oh, these other guys are so much faster than me oh this is awesome this is really cool Left four fourteen point seventy one seconds. I'm, I'm having to concentrate. It's really hard to. Uh... Yeah, this is really hard. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. Um. Oh, there I am. This is really hard to. Uh... Forty seconds. To the oh, we're about to have a race. Get this is going to be absolutely terrible. <laughs> Seconds till the start of the race. Oh, there we go. Your car will be placed in its starting position. Five, four, three. If I jump started. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no! Got stuck on this. They're going to be lapping me. This is what it'd be like for people that have never played a sim racing title and they load it up and they're driving around the track at two miles an hour. I, I recommend people try this out though. Oh, I'll try and get out of the way. I don't know if there's collisions. Oh, he's gone! He's gone in the wall! This... This seems really good. I, I mean, I'm surprised it's not advertised more or more popular in general. Maybe it's just too niche. Or maybe it is popular in America and uh, just over here in England. It's not something you really hear about. 
Oh, God damn it. Two, four, two, four, two, four, two, seven, Whoever put that banner sticking out was the right git. Oh, oh, okay, well that answers the question. I don't think there's any collisions. Which makes sense because uh, the car's moving around at relative speeds like this. It'd be really annoying in multiplayer. Or maybe it does have Three, collisions seven, as an option. Oops. Oh, I don't want to crash into this dude and ruin his little race. Oops, a bit wide there. <laughs> but at the opposite of cutting the track. Left four, eighteen, oh point no, point this is really high. If you go fast, you end up overshooting the corners. Oh, that was cool. I powered out the corner a bit there. Got a little dude in the uh, in the cockpit of the car. Left five, seventeen point thirty one seconds. Okay, well, well, this is virtual RC, I guess. Uh, there's not that many servers. It doesn't seem that active, but. As a free-to-play RC game, if you're serious, I'm sure you, six, I'm sure you, there's leagues zero, and stuff running for this, six, so I, I don't seven. know, I need to look into it. If you're serious, there's loads of stuff you can buy in this. It looks like it might be quite expensive, but if you just uh, like simulators and you just want a quick race on something for free uh, and you've got an Xbox controller, this seems like really good fun to just play with some friends. I'm going to get some uh, friends to install it. I'm genuinely surprised as to how good this seems to work. And uh, it's something I really need to practice at because I'm terrible. How many laps is the race, isn't it? Oh, okay, yeah, no collision. How many laps? Let's see. Does it say it every time I've gone through and everything is annoying? Left 9, 15.07 seconds. Lap 9, out of what? I've got incident points as well. Left 10, 15.61 seconds. Oh, it really is. It's a lot easier to, to play this without talking. As soon as I open my gob, I end up going into that advertising billboard. Left 11, 13.39 seconds. I'm on minus 8 laps compared to the top guy. He's on 19 laps. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, well, that's it. Uh, I'm going to stop this recording because I can imagine this is about as exciting as watching paint dry. Well, that's Virtual RC Pro. Um, if you enjoyed it, click subscribe and like the video. Drop a comment so we can arrange to have a race online uh, as the service seems a bit dead. I'm going to go and make a cup of tea and then brush up on my RC car skills because that's what matters in life.